Most Americans believe we are a democracy, but unfortunately that is no longer true. These people believe the president and members of Congress are in charge of governing our country and that their vote determines who will lead us. The terrible truth is, they are nothing more than puppets on a string. The real rulers of our country are members of the wealthy 1% lobbyists and corporations who care very little about the well-being of the average American and the economy. What they do care about is wealth and power. We're seeing more and more that corporations and lobbyists govern America according to their own agendas, not the agenda of the people. In order to see their goals achieved, corporations use lobbyists and special interest groups to buy up support from elected officials who have the power to push their agendas through. They do this by donating millions of dollars to a candidate's campaign. Once they do, these lobbyists and corporations cash in on the fact that they virtually, single-handedly elected their favorite candidate into office and begin asking for favors, like tailoring certain laws and agreements to benefit them. One of the biggest culprits behind this corporate takeover of America is an organization known as the American Legislative Exchange Council, more commonly known as ALEC. Some of the corporations who make up ALEC's board of directors are Coca-Cola, Walmart, State Farm Insurance, UPS, Pharma, Energy Future Holdings, Reynolds American, and Salt River Project. ALEC is an extremely dangerous group and a prime example of how corporations are usurping power from we the people and shaping the country the way they want it. They can do this because through ALEC they affect changes to legislation. They tell legislators the changes they want to improve their bottom line and because they have paid them, legislators feel obligated to fulfill. Groups like ALEC are the reason we have detrimental trade agreements. They're the reason our president is pushing the disastrous TPP. Though much of the TPP has been kept under wraps, what we have learned shows that it would be disastrous for our nation. Our elected officials have not enacted policies to protect the American people, nor devised plans to create new jobs because they're too busy catering to the desires of the lobbyists and corporations that contributed millions towards their elections. Contact your congressional representative and urge them to stop putting corporations and lobbyists before the well-being of the American public.